Wee boy. Ooh, wee. Week three of the NFL season is right around the corner. Uh, it's actually starting tomorrow with Thursday Night Football, and it's a matchup that continues to just come on Thursday Night Football, and somehow it either amazes us or it makes us feel like shit. And that's the Titans and the Jags once again on Thursday Night Football. What a, what a, what a, what a time we are living in. What a time, you know? Um, it's probably not going to be very interesting, not going to lie to you, because I don't care for the Titans or the Jags. Um, so I'm not going to watch it. Thursday Night Football is just a travesty to me. Uh, but then, you know, we get to the Sunday slate. It's all interesting from there, you know. The Dolphins, can they can they do anything on offense? Can they score? Can can they do anything at all? Because, you know, Cowboys defense is looking mighty nice right about now. And offense has gotten its act together under Kellen Moore. And I'm liking it so far. I'm liking it from my Cowboys. Um, Zeke ran for over 100 yards last week. And so, you know, it's going to be a really, really interesting game. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I do think that we'll beat the Dolphins, though. So it'll be it'll be all nice and good. The Bengals taking on the Bills. That's going to be pretty interesting. The Lions and the Eagles. How's Wentz feeling? Um, I know we got shot in the ribs, you know. Is, is, is it going to be anything special or no? Nah? Um, the Jets taking on the Patriots. That might be a bloodbath right there. Uh, Most because, you know, I think the Patriots going to have a field day against the Jets. You know, the AFC East just does not look good like it has been for years and years now. Um, the Falcons taking on the Colts. Now, that's going to be pretty interesting right there. Jacoby Brissett took on Matt Ryan. Um, just, has the, just has the interest factor up to a T. Raiders. John Gruden, Derek Carr, taking on the Vikings, Dalvin Cook, you know, Cook Cousins. Uh, pretty interesting game right there. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. The Raiders, Raiders have something. They're, they're looking like a middling team this year. So do the Vikings. So, you know, that, that all changed. <laughs> Ravens and Chiefs. Now that is an interesting matchup. Lamar Jackson, Patrick Mahomes, two young quarterbacks. Ravens defense has been beautiful. Now I know it was the now I know it was the Dolphins and the Cards, but beautiful defense. It's it's beautiful. The last couple weeks, the Chiefs just been taking care of business. You know, Patrick Mahomes just keeps throwing up touchdowns, keeps making real estate. He he's he's making bank. You know, that's gonna be probably one of the more interesting games today. Not gonna lie to you, Broncos taking on the Packers. How did the Broncos feel after last week? You know, um, the Broncos had the game one against the Bears. But now you know they got to take on a a Ron Rodgers. You know, it's gonna be very interesting to see um, what in the world's gonna happen there. So that takes care of the twelve o'clock games. You know, um, not really a lot to go over there. Um, you know, the interesting stuff, the real interesting stuff. Oh, sorry. Real interesting stuff get started at, at, at the 3 o'clock games, you know. First, we got the Panthers taking on the Cardinals. How, how is Kyler Murray doing? Uh, how's the Cards offensive line doing? You know, how's Cam feeling? Is he going to dress up as a grandma this week? You know, I don't know yet. Uh, the Giants. Daniel Jones is not a starter. Jameis Winston is really, he is feeling it now. He's feeling it now after getting a big W last week. You know, what What in the world are the Bucks and the Giants going to do? Saints, Teddy Bridgewater, he's the starter for the next six weeks now. And we all know Russell Wilson and, and the Seahawks. They're a dangerous team. They're a dangerous team. You know, you can't count the Seahawks out for anything. Texans, Chargers, absolutely interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. You know, uh, the L.A. Chargers are definitely an underrated team. You know, Phillip Rivers, he, he's, he's the kind of guy that needs a Super Bowl no matter what you say. And, and the Texans, you know, they're, they're looking – Looking kind of vulnerable right now. Um, they didn't really do too well last week. They had to have their defense bailed them out. 
against the uh, the Jags. So I'm wondering what in the world is going to happen. And, and all, all these games just seem interesting. Well, not, oh, sorry. I'm not going to lie to you. And then finally, you know, Steelers taking on the 49ers, Jimmy G and, and Mason Rudolph, who's starting now for, for the Steelers. What in the world is going to happen there? I don't know. I really don't know at all. But then, you know, Sunday night, you know, maybe – Maybe the most interesting of all, Cleveland taking on the Rams. Oh, boy, Jared Goff, Baker Mayfield. Man, it is going to be one wild, wild game. I, I can tell you that right now. Then finally, to to cap off week three is the Bears and the Redskins. Now, I'm not really, I'm not really a Redskins guy, you know. Um, we're Cowboys fans in this household, so what? Uh, Hopefully the Bears win, you know. Um, Redskins ain't been looking too great, you know. Their offense looks very, very uh, good at times. But other times they look mediocre. The Bears' offense hasn't been there at all. So wondering what in the world is going to happen in that game. I'm not going to watch that game either. Monday Night Football has been a travesty for years now, and you know we'll just keep. I'll just keep it to the Sunday slate, you know. Sundays are for football anyway, you know. You can't can't really rely on Monday anymore because matchups are trash. Um, so yeah, that's all I've got for week three. Um, how are these young quarterbacks going to do? Um, yeah, really, yeah. Just what what in the world's going to happen? You know, the, the NFL is any given Sunday. You know. <laughs> so with all that being said, y'all take care, and I'll see you. Um, after, you know, week three ends with all the recap and stuff like that, you know, and take care.